you know the Yaris's from back in the day how they look ugly and stuff this Yaris actually looks okay this car will get you from point A to point B I've driven this car for days I mean literally 12 hours sometimes and no issue if you are looking for a vehicle that's reliable that's gonna get you from point A to point B also, it's real quiet. Interior, nice and quiet. Engine, you can barely hear it. Okay? Gas mileage. Booyaka shot. 41 miles a gallon, bro. Average. Average. So, you're looking for a good vehicle, reliable vehicle. Don't look further, any further. Buy this thing. It's got airbags, it's got seat belts, and that's it. Oh, it's got some braking system, you know, collision stuff. Um, yeah, engine wise, good. Bye. Bye. If you got money, you're rich. Eh. Eh. I ain't gonna waste your time. I don't do reviews I'm talking about BS, wasting time, and asking you, hey, like my videos. I hate when people tell me to like their video. I like your videos if I like your video. Don't tell me to like, rate, and subscribe, dog. Anyway, I do real reviews, tell you the truth about these vehicles. No BS. Let's go! And look, I gotta be honest with you, this is not a vehicle, a pimp vehicle, right? You're not gonna pick up girls in this vehicle. You're not gonna, right, impress people in this vehicle. But this is a newer type of vehicle, and it's a reliable vehicle. If you're still driving a 2003 Civic, right, you most likely are not gonna get girls, right? girls ain't gonna respect you if your car is not running right you got a piece of junk vehicle you ain't got a job bye you done you done you done man you gotta have a good car i remember this dude came at me like hey i got this corolla 2003 corolla with 260,000 miles and stuff and i'm like brah he's like yeah it's still running good i'm like brah you real or what you're saying? This thing looked like a piece of garbage. And I remember later that year that, that vehicle broke down in, on the highway someplace. And I'm like, ah, you got a girlfriend? He's like, yeah, I got a baby mom. I'm like, ah. And then his girl left him and stuff. Yeah, yeah, look, you gotta be, you gotta have a nice vehicle. I don't care who, you gotta work hard. You gotta come up. Don't just put rims on a 2003 Civic, right? And, and, and a short shifter and an intake and stuff and thank you all that. Dude, you're driving a piece of junk. Get yourself a good car or ain't nobody going to take you seriously or respect you. Sorry, guys. All right, so as you can see, we're on the highway right now. Doing about 60, picking up speed, RPMs. Real nice and easy. Visibility, okay. Quiet, too. You know, most vehicles like Priuses, there's a big truck right on. You hear that? And so, here we're going, uh, we are doing about 70 right now. RPMs at 2. Consumption 4.1, nice and quiet inside, smooth, you see that? No vibrating, no wind noise, real nice comfortable vehicle for a basic vehicle, good, I like it. What this, what this vehicle has is reliability. It's a basic vehicle, but it's a nice, comfortable, it's a smooth and it's got a little bit of pow power. You have your basics, up volume, calling features, right? You have your cruise control and that's about it. Now let's look at some of the info you have here. Mileage per gallon. Okay, so I get about 41, 40, 42, around 40 miles a gallon. That is actually pretty good. You got your here, you have your mileage and your RPMs. Really not much to this vehicle. Over here, you have your entertainment system. 
Okay, and if you go over here, music, right? You got your Bluetooth, you got a few apps. Okay, nothing real fancy over here, nothing really kind of, I mean, you want it to be basic. Most vehicle make it basic so you don't get in a car accident, right? Driving around and clicking buttons and stuff. So down here, you have a little bit of leather here, right? You have your AC, heat, and stuff like that. Down here, you have a USB cigarette lighter USB. You have your SIM, okay? And as we go down this way, you have, I know it's kind of dirty, you have your sport mode. And you know what? The sport mode actually works. Gives you a little more power. Okay, surprisingly. Now you have your controls over here, your basics, home, music, nav, uh, navigation, and then forward and backward, right? Volume here, easy access. Nice, a nice little system. I don't, I don't actually mind this vehicle. This vehicle, in my personal opinion, is a good, reliable, good on gas vehicle. Today, gas price is going up. I don't know when you're watching this video, but as most of you know, most of you know today that gas prices are insane. Right, I forgot backup cameras. You got your mirrors, you know, windows and stuff like that. Basic, basic stuff. But the thing about this vehicle, it's, it's pretty reliable. Good gas mileage, nice motor, good transmission. And decent amount of power. I mean, this thing doesn't have a lot of power. It's not designed to be a race car. It's designed to be a smooth, maybe a door dasher or a grub hubber or an Uber driver. This car will get you from point A to point B. I've driven this car for days. I mean, literally. 12 hours sometimes. And no issues. Overall, I give this vehicle for a fuel consumption like a Civic and a Mazda 2 type of vehicle. I give this vehicle a seven, okay? A Prius, I'd give an eight, just because of reliability and because this vehicle has a lot of uh, Mazda parts, has some Toyota parts, okay? So reliability is not as good as a Prius. Prius can go 300,000 miles, right? You probably don't even have to change the battery on those things. This thing I put, uh, bunch of miles on this and it runs good too so now this vehicle has some safety features like airbags seat belts <laughs> uh but nah i'm kidding but it also has a, a feature on here let me show you i've never really used it needed it but this right here smart city braking support it helps you brake right collision control type of thing basic real basic stuff so yeah i think this vehicle is cool a nice little tiny vehicle nothing fancy but it gets you from point a to point b and it's better than a ford or uh any other type of vehicles like that okay this is more reliable uh, than those vehicles so if you're thinking about this beast grab it boys grab it yeah yeah uh, pretty tiny nice looking little vehicle it's not a bad looking vehicle a nice grill on it let's check under the hood booyaka shock all right your basic uh four cylinder your basic four cylinder engine uh, 100 horsepower or something like that not a big engine, but a, a really nice, good on gas type of engine that can easily get you 40 miles a gallon. Quiet engine too, and smooth, especially on the highway, going on the highway, this thing is smooth. Yeah, pretty nice, nice grill, nice little vehicle. Lots of room in the back, lots of room here. Nice rims on this sucker. You know, you know, I should honestly wash this thing before making a video review on a vehicle like this, but um, I think most of you know what's going on. Nice spoiler in the back. Okay, so, and you've got your touch here. 
um, unlock this vehicle is keyless, no keys at all. You open it with the key fob and you put your finger on right there and it opens up. Um, so yeah, it's a nice, nice little vehicle. It doesn't look like a Yaris, okay? You know what I'm saying, you know Yaris's, especially the early, late 2000s. You know the Yaris's from back in the day, how they look ugly and stuff. This Yaris actually looks okay. So this vehicle doesn't look like a Yaris. Yar is Yaris. Your, you know. Yeah. Hey, you got you got any parts for your ish? Yaris. 